Hey everyone, welcome back and today I'll be showing you how you can wrap get your get server side props in Next.js around a wrapper function which allows you to easily make protected routes. So first of all, this isn't my approach. Uh, it's done by Julio Malvis on Stack Overflow. I'll leave it down below so that you can check it out. So why don't I just show you? So I have this simple application. Uh, what it, uh, so it have only authentication mechanism built in. Do not mind the error, it's probably because of a plugin. So I do not have sign up implemented, just sign in. So let's just come here. And uh, I wanna tell you that there's a route that's being protected. It's called, if I just go to account, dashboard, and press enter, you can see I'm automatically being redirected to auth. So it's not letting me get inside. So let's try to log in. So as you can see, we are now signed in and we're automatically inside of account dashboard. Also in account dashboard, I'm also logging in the current user so that we can see what the user is. Uh, by the way, it's using GraphQL. That's why I have the selected things that I wanted to come out. If I go try to go back to auth, which is the general, uh, the URL for authentication, it see, you see it automatically redirects us back to the dashboard. So uh, let's just see how this works. So I have this require authentication HOC. So this HOC is not some sort of HOC that will wrap around your uh, component, but rather it wraps around your get server side props. So I'll be showing you how this works. So inside of uh, require authentication that I have named it, what it actually does is that it exports a function called require authentication, which accepts another function, which is get server side props. I've also labeled it get server side prop from Next.js. Make sure that you do it as well if you're using TypeScript, of course. It returns an asynchronous function, uh, which takes in the context that will be a passed on context of this get server side props. And then out of this request, we're taking out a cookie and all we're doing is using our basic mechanism of verifying the cookie and all that. So this is dependent upon to you, how you wanna do it. If you're using a local cookie, you can do it your way. I'm using an HTTP only cookie, that's why it's working this way. So what this ha what it actually does is, so if there is no token found, so for example, the user isn't authenticated, we return a redirect back to auth. So that's what redirecting it back. In case the token is found, what we're doing is that we're returning the function the get server side props of the original uh, original React uh, React component, and we're passing in back the context. So what it actually means is that our context can work at our get server side props function can work back as normal. So what we, whatever we want to do again after after the require authentication mechanism can go in back here. So all we have to do is to type in async, put in the context, return the props, and that's it. Now let's try to use this function to protect some other route. So if I come here in the pages and let's create a new file, let's call it test.tsx. Or maybe why test? Let's call it protected. So whenever you're creating anything inside of a folder in Next.js, make sure that uh, whatever your main URL is, like the main pages, uh, it should be named index. So yeah, now we are here. So if I go back, uh, let me just type in something here so that we can we can actually see what's going on. So I'm gonna put an H1 here and let's say I am protected. Also, let's just give it a color of white because I know, all right. So let's just go back and let me just log out. So right now I'm not authenticated. So if I go back to authentication, I'm not being redirected, okay? So if I just go back to protected, the original URL, uh, it should, it says I am protected, but it isn't because I'm logged out. So let's try to protect this. What all we have to do is to say export const get server side props, and this should be of type get server side props, which is actually imported from Next. Uh, if you're using TypeScript, it will, it will be automatically imported for you. And if you're not using TypeScript, you generally don't want to write this. Yeah, same goes for this one. If you are not using TypeScript, you don't want these because this is native TypeScript syntax, not JavaScript. So all we have to do is to say require authentication right here, automatically get imported. And uh, we create another function inside of this. It takes a context and returns nothing. So right now you'll see uh, I'm gonna get an error and the error is the cryptic TypeScript message, which in total is only saying that what you are returning is a function which is not a promise. So you can see I'm returning a normal context here, which it actually is returning. However, I'm not returning a promise. Also it accepts a key string pair, which is actually what get server side props accept. So all we have to do is to prefix this with an async and we have to return in an object with props property and that's it. So now we only did this much of stuff and 
if say for example if you want to do something else than that all you have to do is to type in your get server side props logic here and it will also continue to work so for example if i want to say uh let's just say what should i say const email is equal to test at test.com now this is completely foolish stuff to do you probably won't do this so this is just to show you that this actually works so now we have this and yeah now we have that so i can get them here all right so all i did was that i just uh, created uh, an interface for this quickly and i'm gonna log the email here okay so there are two things that are happening first this route must be protected second and if this works this email should be here because we're actually returning uh, server side props in it so let's just go back and i'm gonna go to protector route protected so as you can see as i type protected i'm automatically being redirected back to auth so let's just try to log in so I just logged in and let's just try to go back to protected route. So as you can see, I'm protected. Also, I get the email that I wanted to send as a prop. So yeah, this actually works. And I've also given the link below to original Julio Melvez answer, uh, which is actually the perfect if you want to have a look at it. Uh, he also explains it this pretty, pretty much well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.